So what's up guys, and we are less than a month away from the official announcement from AMD and the Ryzen 3000 series processors, which will be using the new 7 nanometer Zen 2 cores, and leaks have already spilled the beans on the 16 core parts that we will be getting on an X570 platform. The leak comes from none other than Tum Apisak, who reports that the first Ryzen 3000 series processors with 16 cores was spotted online in a benchmark database. The specific benchmark hasn't been linked to yet, but it is mentioned that the picture of the related leak will be provided soon. So definitely keep a check on WCCFTech.com to see, a, well, whenever that comes live. Now getting straight to the details of the leak part, we're looking at a 7 nanometer Ryzen CPU that is Zen 2 based and of the 3000 series processor, which features 16 cores and 32 threads, which is more or less confirmed at CES 2019 when AMD first presented their third generation Ryzen processors and the chiplet design that will allow for at least two Zen 2 chiplets on the silicon interposer. So while AMD has shown off an 8 core and 16 thread processor, there was room for even higher core count SKUs. Now with this leak, we can say that there are definitely 16 core parts, despite me maybe hoping that I was right with Xan only 8 cores, but looks like 16 core parts are coming down the mainstream AM4 socket. And the clock speeds for this part are also mentioned, and those are adjusted to 3.3 gigahertz for the base and 4.2 gigahertz for the boost. Now bear in mind that the chip that has been leaked is said to be a very early engineering sample. And well, as we've seen with past engineering samples, the frequency in the final retail variance is well, much higher. Compared to the Ryzen Threadripper 2950X, a 180 watt chip, even the engineering clocks look great as we're talking about a chip close to the 100 watt TDP figure that might end up clocking higher than AMD's current fastest 16 core chip, well, which is the Ryzen Threadripper 2950X on the X399 platform. The processor was tested on an X570 chipset based motherboard. No specific manufacturer has been mentioned, but AMD partners are getting ready to show off a range of new X570 chipset based motherboards at Computex 2019 in only a few weeks. And that's definitely confirmed because they have been teasing these like MSI, ASRock, um, ASUS. They've all been teasing these motherboards over the past few days. So they're definitely coming very soon. Now the thing to be excited about with Ryzen 3000 series is that it does take that 16 core part and bring it down to the mainstream, no longer being a high-end desktop part exclusive. And this would allow AMD mainstream users to get away with higher core counts without upgrading to a high-end desktop platform, which also costs more when looking into motherboards, memory upgrade, you know, it cooling especially. I know for me, this is something that I would definitely be welcoming in my personal workstation. This also isn't the first time we've seen a Ryzen 3000 series sample leak out. AMD already demonstrated an 8 core 16 thread sample against Intel's Core i9 9900K at CES 2019, and a quad core sample was spotted running on an MSI MEG or MSI Enthusiast Gamer line X570 creation motherboard this past month as well. So guys, what do you think? Are you excited about a 16 core part on the mainstream port? platform or are you really not really worried about going past eight cores really like to hear what you really want from your cpu on this upgrade and how much you plan to get out of it i know me i have kind of kind of torn between a the eight cores come out and they're much higher clock rate and then they got the 16 cores that are lower clock rate but way wider i don't know i'm gonna have a hard time picking which one i want to go with in my personal workstation behind me so, love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. This has been Keith with the WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you leave a comment. If you got one, subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.